Hey there, health champions. Welcome to Healthism. Today's topic is what happens to your body when you eat ginger every day. Stick around until the video ends. What happens when you eat ginger daily? Ginger is a spice people have used for over 4,000 years. This herb has power to treat or prevent many diseases. People first found this popular spice in Indian food and old Chinese medicine. Gingerol, the main ingredient in ginger, gives it its unique taste. It also fights bacteria and acts as an antioxidant. Ginger does more than just affect your taste buds. It changes many other body functions too. Here are some key health perks of eating ginger. Before we start, remember that everything in this video is fair fact-checked and looked over by qualified health experts. Now, let's dive into the nine benefits of ginger. One, makes you less queasy. Chinese doctors have long used ginger as medicine to stop throwing up and help digestion. People think ginger cuts down on nausea by making your mouth and stomach produce more juices. These juices help break down food better. The herb might also work as an anti-spasm agent. This means it can relax smooth muscles in your gut. Ginger has things called gingerols, shogales, zingerones, and other smell-good oils. These are likely why it helps with nausea. This spice also seems to calm down swelling in your gut. This could be another reason why it helps when you feel sick. To get rid of queasiness, try drinking ginger tea. You can make ginger tea by adding one teaspoon of fresh grated ginger root to one cup of hot water. Let it cool for 10 minutes before you drink it. You can have this remedy two or three times a day when you feel a bit sick or throw up because of pregnancy or motion sickness. If you feel very sick or throw up a lot, see your doctor right away. They can suggest the best way to treat your problem. Number two, helps your body fight illness. Adding ginger to what you eat can help your body fight illness. It does this by making blood flow better all over your body. This helps your body fight off bad things that can make you sick. Ginger has stuff in it like gingerol and shogol. These things make your body create more of the cells that fight illness. These cells play a big part in keeping you healthy. Gingerol makes white blood cells work better. These cells are needed to fight off sickness. This stuff also makes your body make more of the cells that get rid of bad things in your body. This helps keep out bacteria, viruses, and other things that can make you sick. People who study this also found that shogol can stop some types of cells from dying when they meet viruses like the flu or the common cold. Number three, helps with bad headaches. People have used ginger at home to help with bad headaches for a very long time. People think it works by stopping things in your body that cause swelling. These things might play a part in bad headaches. It might also help relax muscles and make swelling in blood vessels go down. This can help with the pain. To get the most good from ginger, you should try eating it raw or dried. You can also add it to food you like to make. You can also buy ginger pills at most drugstores and health food shops. Ginger also has shogal in it. This has been shown to make less blood flow in the brain. This might help with headache pain by making less blood go to parts of your brain that hurt. Like our video so far? Before we talk about the next good thing, don't forget to click the subscribe button. This way, you won't miss any of our new videos that tell you useful things. Number four, it might make you less likely to get cancer. Cancer is a very scary sickness. It kills more than half a million people each year just in the United States. It often hits people when they're in the best years of their life. Even though there are many types of cancer, they all have one thing in common. They happen when cells grow too much and can't be controlled. For example, skin cancer happens when damaged cells don't die when they should. Sometimes, these damaged cells grow into lumps that can spread to other parts of the body. People who study this have found that ginger has things in it that might help fight cancer cells in the body. In one study, they found that stuff from ginger affected prostate cancer cells in a lab. They also found that it could make people up to 40% less likely to get prostate cancer if they ate three grams of powdered ginger root every day. In a study printed in the Journal of Cancer Prevention Research, scientists looked at how ginger affected mice with breast cancer. They found that ginger extract made tumors grow about 50% less and made them much smaller. The scientists then looked at human breast cancer cells in a dish and found that they were less likely to spree. Ginger led to much lower after-meal blood sugar levels than those who skipped it. Number six eases anxiety. Many people visit doctors because of anxiety. 
Anxiety is a mental health issue that brings on fear, nerves, or worry. Some anxiety is normal and even useful, but it can take over and mess up your daily life if it lasts too long or gets out of hand. The good news? You can manage anxiety in many ways, like working out and changing what you eat. For example, experts say eating foods with lots of fiber and omega-3 fats might help cut down anxiety symptoms. Ginger is another natural way to handle anxiety. People in Asia and Africa have used it for hundreds of years to calm down and feel less nervous. Number 7. It might help with indigestion. Indigestion is a common issue many people face after eating. Signs include bloating, gas, burping often, and heartburn. These signs show up fast after eating and stick around for hours or days after the meal. Ginger is one of many herbs used to treat indigestion. Other helpful herbs include fennel seeds, peppermint leaves, basil leaves, and chamomile flowers. Ginger also has gingerols, which fight inflammation and help ease the pain from indigestion. Gingerols can even cut down on stomach acid, which helps treat mild stomach ulcers. To ease indigestion, you can drink ginger tea, add it to food or drinks, or take supplements with concentrated ginger for the best results. Number 8. It might help with asthma. Asthma is a long-term lung disease that makes breathing hard. The airways, which are tubes that bring air into your lungs, swell up and get narrow causing shortness of breath, wheezing, and coughing. While there's no cure for asthma, many people can keep their symptoms in check without using inhalers or other meds. The gingerol in ginger helps relax the muscles in lung airways. This cuts down on swelling and makes breathing easier. It also lowers mucus in your lungs, making it easier to cough up phlegm. If you're having trouble breathing, try juicing two to three inches of fresh ginger root and drink it right away. You can also make tea with fresh ginger root by putting one teaspoon of grated ginger root into one cup of water and boiling it for five minutes. Number nine, it might help lower the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Ginger reduces Alzheimer's disease risk by stopping brain plaque formation. Brain plaques consist of amyloid beta peptide on nerve cells, which lead to Alzheimer's disease. A study found ginger extract cut a beta production up to 80% in lab tests. Gingerol also cuts brain oxidative stress by blocking enzymes like cyclooxygenase 2 and 5 lipogenesis. These enzymes make inflammatory compounds in the brain, which can cause Alzheimer's disease. The drop in antioxidant enzymes like catalase and glutathione peroxidase also adds to oxidative stress because they help remove free radicals from the body. Are there health risks with ginger? Ginger is safe to eat and has no known side effects when eaten in normal amounts, but it might mix with some medicines and other herbal supplements. Ginger might lower blood sugar and change how your body uses other herbs, vitamins, or medicine. Some people feel mild stomach issues like bloating upset stomach and loose stools after eating ginger. People with gallstones should not use ginger because it can make symptoms worse. It's key to talk to your doctor before taking ginger if you have diabetes or a bleeding problem like hemophilia or if you take any medicines for these conditions. Ginger might also mix with certain heart medicines, so check with your doctor before adding it to your diet if you're on any of these medicines. As you can see, ginger has many benefits. If you add this seasonal treat to your daily diet, you might find it eases a number of symptoms and discomfort. By covering all bases, ginger is a jack-of-all-trades remedy that belongs in every health-minded person's kitchen. More than that, it has properties to reduce swelling, so it's a great addition to dieters' toolkits. Enjoyed this video? I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel to watch more informative videos like this one. Before you leave, you might see other helpful videos pop up on your screen. Feel free to click on any of them or even better, watch both to keep learning with us. Thanks so much for watching. Your wellness is our goal. See you in the next video. Stay healthy and bye.